Work on the weapon later known as the Fieseler FI-103 or V-1 began in the late 1930 under the direction of Fritz Goslau. The project aimed to develop a new type of missile powered by pulse jet engines. Development progressed rapidly, largely due to pressure from the Ministry of Aviation, and by mid-1942 the design was ready for evaluation. The primary testing and development site for the FI-103 was in Pinamunda, where various launch methods were explored, including launches from aircraft. One experimental version, the Reichenberg, even considered having a pilot control the missile, but the most effective solution turned out to be launching it from a specialized catapult. Following the RAF's bombing raid on Peenemünde in August 1943, V-1 missile production was dispersed across Germany and the occupied territories to avoid further disruption. The initial production facilities included the Volkswagen plant in Fahlersleben and the Fiesler factory in Kassel. Later, production shifted to the underground Dora Mittelwerk complex in Thuringia, with additional parts manufactured in smaller factories in Poland, including sites in Lubiąż, Zombkowice Śląskie, and Świdnica. It's also believed that the Ries complex in the Owl Mountains was intended for similar production. Test ranges like the one in Blizna near Milek in southern Poland were used to prepare the first rocket artillery unit. The first V-1 missile tests took place at Pinamunda in 1942, but it wasn't until June 13th, 14th, 1944, that the weapon was used in combat. On that night, 10 V-1 missiles were launched toward London, though only four reached British territory. Over the next few days, hundreds more were launched. On June 15th, around 100 missiles were fired, and by June 18th, the number had increased to 500. In total, around 30,000 V-1 missiles were produced during the war, with approximately 10,000 launched against England. Of these, about 7,000 reached British territory, including 3,876 that struck the London metropolitan area. The V-1 had a flight time of around 20-25 minutes from launch to its target in London, depending on the location of the launch site. Due to its relatively low accuracy, the V-1 was primarily used against large targets, such as cities. While it lacked precision, the missile was highly effective at causing damage when it hit its target. The V-1 was more destructive than conventional bombs of similar size, making it a formidable weapon for urban bombardment. After targeting London, the V-1 was later used against cities like Antwerp and Liège. To counter the V-1 threat, the Allies employed several strategies, 